We all know the importance of petting the dog in video games. Hell, there's even a Twitter page dedicated to pointing out which games allow you to pet the dog and which don't. But, uh, Undertale? Undertale takes that to a whole new level. That's right, I'm talking about the encounter with this little guy, the lesser dog. Because this guy's a mini boss that you might come across in Snowden. And I'll be honest, I did not realise how long this encounter could go on for if you push it to its limit. And before anyone comes at me, yes, Undertale is old news now. But some of us were unfortunate enough to only play it for the first time this year. You actually only need to pet the dog once to spare him. But it's worth doing it, that's right, up to 55 times to see all of the different dialogue and the madness that ensues when you keep petting the dog. So, um, like many other things in life, the happier and more excited the dog becomes, the uh, bigger and longer he grows. <coughs> anyway, let's fast forward a bit. After around the fifth pet, you'll reach the critical pet, at which point poor Doggo will be too excited to attack you anymore. So then it's just a case of petting over and over and over again. <laughs> I mean, just look at him. <laughs> I love seeing his tail just getting faster and faster as well, like, that's so cool. And here is one of my favourite bits of text in this encounter, and another one. At this point the dog is, quote, entering the realm of the clouds. And, well, the dog continues to disappear off screen. <laughs> See you, buddy. Ah, oh, never mind, you can't hear us. But guess what? It does not stop there. Oh, hi, buddy. There he is. And thus begins the long trek back across the screen. And eventually he'll even glitch into the text bubble. At this point, the game will even tell you that you have a problem. Which, let's be honest, there's never a problem with petting a dog as much as you possibly can. So that's just a lie. When Lesser Dog starts to go behind the main text box, the game admits that Lesser Dog is no longer pettable, but that he appreciates the effort. During his trip behind the main text box, he starts to learn to read. And when his head fully disappears, he starts to whine because he can't see you. <laughs> Eventually, he does pop his head out of the other side. Hello there. That game is where you are wrong. I think you'll find I am perfectly happy with my life choices, Toby Fox. I promise you, there is literally no better way I could be spending my time. And finally, the dog once again disappears off screen and goes where no dog has gone before. You'll get this dialogue after about 53 pets, followed by Lesser Dog is Beyond Your Reach. Finally, on pet 55, and if you carry on beyond 55, the game will start to wonder what you're doing with your life, and you'll simply get really. This is the point where the game is telling you to get a life, even though in my opinion there is no better life than petting dogs endlessly. Again, I know that this is old news at this point, but I absolutely love this and I wanted to make a video out of it because it brings me so much joy. Oh, and one extra thing before I go. Did you know on the Fangamer website that there's actually a lesser dog scar? I just thought that was absolutely amazing. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's any other secrets you'd like me to check out, please comment below.